So this is um, one package of cream cheese. It's going to be one can of sweetened condensed milk, a third to a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. And this is like kind of like a, uh, it's a quick cheese pie. You can use uh, cherry on the top or lemon. Uh, I think got one of these pre-made uh, graham cracker crust pie, pie crusts. And uh, what I'm going to do is mix all this together, but I want to mix my cream cheese until it's really creamy before I put my sweetened condensed milk in. You want to let your cream cheese soften up a little bit before you start. It's a little easier to mix. There's no sugar. The only sugar it is is the sweetened condensed milk. That's the only sugar that you put in here. You don't need any granulated sugar or powdered sugar or brown sugar or anything. It's just just the sweetened condensed milk. This is really a simple and quick pie to make, especially like if you're going to have uh, friends coming over unexpectedly. I know a lot of a lot of us don't keep this kind of thing uh, on hand, like cream cheese and and sweetened condensed milk, unless you really, you know, use a lot of it for a lot of different cooking. You can also uh, use the sweetened condensed milk to uh, make fudge as well. You just take the sweetened condensed milk, take chocolate chip, your chocolate chip morsels. You can even use the chocolate chunks even and uh, melt them down and then add the sweetened condensed milk to it after it's melted. And after it's cooled a little, you add the sweetened condensed milk to your chocolate and you have fudge. Really fast, simple way to make fudge. I'm going to mix this until it gets real creamy. Mix, clean the sides off periodically. I like this mixer. This is a great mixer. I only had this since I was a baby. I've had this mixer like forever. I think, I, I think the last one I had I gave to my other daughter, and I think this is one I bought about 40 years ago, I think. But yeah, these are great mixers. And I'm not advertising for KitchenAid, I'm just saying that this is a great mixer. You want to make sure that there's no chunks, that it's a creamy mixture. So I'm going to get the bottom of it, mix it up really good. Mix it again. Like I said, I'm going to mix this until it's real creamy, if there's no cream cheese chunks or anything in it. I want it smooth and creamy. You can also put this, uh, this is a very rich mixture, a very, very sweet, very rich. And what you can do with it also is not just make a pie out of it. You can take it and put it into like uh, custard cups and then put your uh, cherry or lemon topping uh, in it. You can like half and half put a half of the cherry on the top of it or on the bottom of the uh, cup and then take the um, mixture and the cream cheese mixture and put it in the cup then add another uh, layer of cherries and then another layer of the cream cheese mixture and 
and um, I'm not gonna open it right yet. to add my lemon juice. And I just use concentrated lemon juice. This is a fourth of a cup and I'm going to add just a little more than a fourth of a cup. So it's like maybe a third of a cup of lemon juice. Now I'm going to mix that. Get thoroughly mixed up. Start on slow. Scrape the sides. Whole mixture is with the lemon juice, and you can see how it's starting to thicken up already with just a little bit of the lemon juice. The lemon juice is what really thickens this up. And there's probably more in here than than uh, what will fill this pie pan, so there's going to be some left over. That's why I say you can always take it and put it in a, um, say like some dessert cups. And you, know, you, can, uh, you can use any pie filling that you want, how you feel that you, uh, you know. The, the two we like the best is the lemon and the um, cherry. But you can use whatever pie, uh, pie topping you want. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to pour this into here. If I don't lose my grip, I have bad shoulders, so sometimes I lose my grip. My hands just open up for no reason. Now you want to leave a little bit space on top so you can put your pie filling on top. Like I say, this is a very rich filling, so your pieces are going to be pretty. You want, you want to start with small pieces. I mean, you can always have seconds or thirds or fourths, but it is very rich. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it sit in the fridge for, oh, about an hour, and then I'll put my topping on. And that's my pie. As well. And then I'll put it in the fridge. For like I say, about an hour, maybe two. It all depends on, you know, when you're busy cooking a lot of other stuff. You know, I would cook this and like take make this the first thing you make. And then you can set it in the fridge and then let it sit most of the day and then in the evening, when you get ready to serve your dessert, you can put your pie filling on top because this is just pie filling. And it doesn't need to be cooked. It's already been cooked and, and everything. It's got always thick. And you can put that on top of your pie. And then if you want, you can put a little whipped cream on top of that and serve it to your guests. So please subscribe. Uh, please make a comment. Push the like button or like button, push the notification bell, and we will catch you on the flip side. Merry Christmas.